So finally, we have reached our final topic, which is formula for which F stands for. So this is the most important topic in set theory and this is where most number of questions are asked. So in the formula, the first and most important formula is the number of elements in A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. So the number of elements in A union B is not just N of A plus N of B. This is N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. So this is the most important formula. Let us see this using example. So for example, if you have the set A is 1, 2, 3 and 4. And let us say that you have set B which is 2, 4, 6 and 8. So what is A union B? A union B is nothing but the elements which are either present in A or present in B. You need to combine these two sets. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. You have these four elements. And if you go to set B, you have the first element as 2. 2 has already been included. So you don't need to write it twice. You should not write it twice. And 4 has been already included. You should not write that 4. Because if you write 4 again, the elements will not be well distinguishable. So 2 and 4 should not be written. So 6 and 8. So as you can see, N of A union B is 6 is equal to, you have 6 elements in N of A union B, is not just 4 plus 4, N of A is 4, N of B is 4, if you directly add the number of elements here. So you can see that this 2 and 4 are being counted twice. So you need to subtract them once. That is you need to subtract the two elements because A intersection B is nothing but set containing 2 comma 4. So how many elements are there in A in section B? There are two elements. So 6 is equal to 4 plus 4 minus 2. So this is how this property works. And once you understand this property, there is a special case for this property which is N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B if, so when will N of A union B be equal to N of A plus N of B? Simply when N of A intersection B is 0, it means there is no element in intersection. If A intersection B is equal to 5 or A comma B are disjoint. So in the problems, when A and B are disjoint sets, you can directly say that N of A union B is N of A plus N of B. So next, the third property is N of A minus B. N of A minus B is not N of A minus N of B. N of A minus B is N of A minus N of A intersection B. We have seen this. When you want to calculate A minus B, you need to remove the common elements of A and B from A. So N of A minus N of A intersection B. And you can see this from Venn diagram also. So if you have the Venn diagram, so if you have two sets A and B, what is A minus B? A minus B is this region. So here, what are you doing? So this is nothing but the total region A minus the common part. So N of A minus B is N of A minus of N of A intersection B. Right? So you can observe this condition from this also. What is N of A minus B? A minus B is nothing but from A you have to subtract the common elements. I want those elements of A which are not present in B. 2 and 4 are present in B. So I will remove that I get 1 and 3. So what is N of A minus B? But 2. There are 2 elements here. So 2 is equal to N of A is 4 minus N of A intersection B is 2. So you can see that this property works. So are the first three properties clear? N of A union B is 
n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b if a and b are disjoint then directly n of a plus n of b n of a minus b is n of a minus of n of a intersection b so now let us go forward so the next formula is n of a delta b is nothing but n of a plus n of b minus 2 times n of a intersection b. So n of a delta b is n of a plus n of b minus 2 times n of a intersection b. So this can be understood using the Venn diagram. What is n of a? What is a delta b? a delta b is the region correspond to this region and this region. a delta b is the symmetric difference of sets a and b. So can I write a delta b as a union b, a union b except a intersection b, a union b except a intersection b, right? So, n of a delta b is nothing but n of a union b, n of a union b minus n of a intersection b. So, I can directly subtract the numbers here because a union b and a intersection b. So, you can very clearly see that there is no overlapping regions. So, from A union B, if you subtract A intersection B, you exactly get the region A delta B. And N of A union B is N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B minus N of A intersection B. So, that gives you this formula. So, N of A delta B is N of A plus N of B minus 2 times N of A delta B. So next formula, what is n of a intersection b complement? These are auxiliary formulas. Till now, these are standard formulas. These are auxiliary formulas. That means you can remember them or you might leave them. So you just need to understand why they are working. So what is n of a and b complement? So what is the region correspond to this? So what is the meaning of this? A intersection B complement is the region corresponding to A and not in B. So what is the region which is present in A but not in B? This is same as N of A minus B, right? That is same as N of A minus N of A intersection B. So whenever you are asked N of A intersection B complement, you have to understand that this set is exactly same as A minus B because both of them represent the same region. So right, so now let us go to our further formulas.